In 2023, we took a Viking Mediterranean Italian sojourn cruise. It started in Barcelona, Spain to Sede and Marseille, France, Monaco, then we hit Florence, Pisa, Rome, Naples, Pompeii, Messina, Sicily, Crotone and Bari, Italy, Sabina, Croatia, ending in Venice, Italy. We arrived in Barcelona a couple of days before the actual cruise started. There's a park right across from the hotel as well as a very short walk to the business district and a lot of shopping. We stayed at the Nobu Hotel, which is quite a ways away from where we had stayed with the Rick Steves group. And that's always good. You get to see a different section of the city. Although we didn't actually eat at the restaurant at the top of the hotel, they had some great views there of the sunrises and the sunsets. It's about a five minute walk to the shopping areas and the refurbished bullfighting ring, which has been turned into an enormous and very modern shopping mall. They definitely know how to entertain their future customers as well as keeping the kids busy while the current customers are out spending their money. Even Spider Woman was here. It has great views from the upper floor of that former bullfighting rink. They did really a good job in here. Outside of the mall bullfighting ring, we really didn't go into any of these stores or other sites that are around the roundabout. After we went to the Gaudi Park, which is in another video, we walked downtown to see some of the Gaudi buildings that supposedly have very unique architecture. And it turned out that this road that we were on, we had actually traveled while we were on the Rick Steves tour, but we came in from another end. It was strange to see a Five Guys burger joint here in English instead of Spanish. There are a lot of different styles of architecture in the city, all the way back from before the 1400s, some Roman times, uh, right up into the modern city. And it's very sectionalized. In some cases, though, old structures sit right next to brand new 20th to 21st century construction. We actually ended up walking all the way back to the Old Town area where we had been before. And we did a little shopping this time because when we were here the last time it was a holiday season and a lot of these shops were closed. I'm not going to get into doing descriptions and history of the cathedrals and of the Old Town area because that's in a whole previously recorded video. I always try to support local musicians. But initially we thought this was a female vocalist. There's a whole story around this crapping guy that you see a lot of around Barcelona, but I'm not exactly sure what it stands for. When the official Viking tour started, there is a bus tour that goes around and above the city. So you get a really nice view of Barcelona and it's unbelievable how big this city actually is. If someone is staying in the city 
for a couple of days, there's a lot of public transportation. There's trains, subways, cabs are all over the place. And there's a lot of bus service that goes to many of these tourist destinations. From up here, you could actually see the Sagrada Familia, but we didn't go there on this tour. Uh, we could have done an excursion there, but we had already seen it before, even though it wasn't anywhere near completed. So we wanted to see different things this time. Barcelona being a port city, and a very important port city, not just now, but definitely in ancient times. There's a cable car if you wish to take the ride over the harbor. There's a huge park area that features one of Gaudi's very first public projects. These look pretty normal. However, if you get to go to the cathedral or to his home park area, you gotta wonder what was going through this guy's brain. At the end of the little bus tour, we go down to the harbor area, get on the boat for dinner. Then the next day, while we're still docked in Barcelona, we visit the small Spanish town of Stiges. <laughs> 